YouTube down to bricks here. What you building? Well, I've been building a custom modular laundry for Dub City. After I completed my expanded brick bank, if you did miss that, I'll put a card up so you can check that video out. But when I'd finished that build, obviously after using four sets to build that, I had a lot of parts left over and I wanted to do something with those parts and I wanted to actually have a laundry in Dub City. And so I had a bit of a brief here that I wanted to work with. I wanted it only to be 16 studs wide. I wanted to conserve room in the city, so I didn't want to go and build a full modular. So I decided just to go 16 wide, and because it's only 16 wide, I really felt like it just needed to be scaled into the size of existing modulars. I also wanted to tie the the style, the design of this build in with the existing modulars as well. The other things I wanted to achieve with this build was to basically use as many of the parts left over that I possibly could, which I did achieve that. And the last thing is that I didn't want it actually to look anything like the brick bank. So I didn't want people to look at this and go, oh, that's from the brick bank. So. Let me know how I went with that, but let's just have a little bit of a chat about what I did do with the front of the building here. So because it did actually come from the brick bank, I did want to have a little bit of a tie in. So I used this same pattern here on the footpath as I did with my expanded brick bank, just to tie it in, just for a little bit of fun. And this whole front piece of the laundry is exactly how it is from the original brick bank laundry. And I just think that looks absolutely awesome. Didn't want to change it up at all. So that is taken directly from that build. The rest, however, is a completely new design. The interior of the laundry does use a lot of the mini builds for the washing machines and the like. So we'll go inside later and we'll have a look at the interior. After finishing the brick bank, I did find I had a lot of sand blue left over, so that determined the colour of the build for me. So just to, for the design, I just used the little headlight bricks here and used those bullion bricks, these pieces here in grey, just to detail the front. And what I really did is just pinched a lot of ideas from existing modulars. So, like how this piece comes out here. So that was taken from ideas from other modulars. And this roof piece, we got a lot of these black slopes in the original build of the brick bank. So I used those to design the roof. So I would say 90% of the parts were from the leftover pieces I had from the brick bank. Didn't have had to use these angled plates here for the front with all these banister pieces, all those slope pieces for the roof, all these sand blue. I think I probably did use some of my own white bricks for around here. These doors, we'll have a look around the sides a little bit. Just use these panels here because you're not going to see those. Don't think I may have used a little bit of my own grey brick there, I'm not too sure. Um, these windows here, they're all from the brick bank. The inserts were from my own stash of pieces. So I thought I'd call this the laundry and kissing frogs apartment. So you see there I've got two frogs in there just for a little bit of a design. A little bit of a pattern there just to break it up. The windows. We didn't have any white windows in the brick bank, so they are my own windows. If you saw a haul video that I did recently, this is what I needed the white windows for. And in that video too, I showed, I got some of these parts from Critter, these little tooth pieces. So I decided to add those, those to the build. And I actually think they just add a little bit extra to it. I think it's come up really good. But let's go inside now and check out the interior. So let's take a look at the laundry at the first floor. As you can see we've got stairs going up here to the second floor and of course we have the laundry. So 
down this side here. It's going to be a little bit tricky to show you everything here. We have our washing machines down the side here and in this corner we have some soap dispensers. You can get your laundry liquid. We've got a little slot here where you can change your money, get some coins for the washing machines and the dryers. There's a water fountain in the front here. little bench there to put your your clothes on while you're sorting them out. On the back wall here are the dryers on the back and then we ha of course have some seats for you to sit on while you're waiting for your laundry to be done. That's about it. All pretty much just taken the designs here straight out of the laundry for the brick bank and just grey, nothing not a lot of colours in there, it's just a pretty boring old laundry as you'd expect. And on the front wall do have a, a light and a clock there as well. well. Let's take a look at the second floor. So as we move on up the stairs to the second floor apartments there is no interior at all. I probably should just put a bed or something in here and just add to it a little bit. Do have a big window panel at the back here just to let a bit more light in. But yeah, no, no interior details. Just a look at that front design for the wall. But let's go on to the third floor. Onto the third floor and again no interior, I didn't even allow any way to actually get up onto this floor so it's going to be a bit tricky for the minifigs. Did put a couple of big window panels in here again just to let plenty of light in and swing it around to have a look at this front wall. It's also got this roof piece here as well just to have a quick look how I've attached that and then while we're looking at the roof let's bring in the actual roof here so there's that design there nothing too special but I think that looks really good do have the banister going all the way around here as well and that just sits straight on there like that and I think that roof looks really good so now it's time to put it up against some other modulars to see how it compares so I've got the Parisian restaurant here and my expanded brick bank and I really wanted to put the brick bank here just to help show that I think I did achieve what I wanted to do and actually have the laundry look like it was not part of the brick bank at all. And the other thing this highlights is how I did scale it into an existing size modular. Of course I can add another floor to it if I ever want to make it bigger, but being 16 studs wide I didn't want to get too crazy with it and I think it actually looks good just scaled in with the regular modulars. Well I hope you enjoyed this video on my custom laundry, please let me know what you think in the comments, let's have a bit of a chat about it. So the next thing now is to get these two new buildings into Dub City and get a city update done. So if you're not subscribed and you want to see that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Please check out the link below for all your Amazon shopping, really appreciate you taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.